Welcome back to another episode of the Word Song Podcast, hosted by Chandler Denzler. You can listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and watch on YouTube. Today we have 2026 shortstop Stanford commit Alex Harrington. We're pumped to have you on the show. What's up, Chandler? Thanks for having me, man. Yep. Before we start digging into travel ball, high school, and the recruiting process, I'd like to ask this question first. Who is Alex Harrington? How would you introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. I'd say that um, I'm just a kid from San Diego that uh, enjoys to play some baseball and uh, kind of let um, my passion for it and my love for the game kind of take me where I'm at for sure. That's awesome. All right. Uh, can you take us through your travel ball career? Just take us through how you got, got connected with Canes National and tell us who you played for before them. Just take us through the whole experience of travel ball. Yeah, it was um, – it was a – I probably started playing on the national circuit, probably like I'd say 13U, 14U type. So um, uh, I started off with just some like California stuff. I played for Easton Top Notch when I was younger and uh, just kind of started off right around there. And then once I started playing on the national circuit, I played uh, my 14U summer, 14U fall and 14U summer, and then as well as my 15 year with Canes National. Just kind of like from kind of PG Select Fest, they saw me there and kind of reached out to see it if I want to play, and I, I really enjoyed the experience, so I stayed with it. That's awesome. All right, the 50 new Canes National this summer won three out of the four tournaments. Can you talk about your performance this summer and the success the team had? Yeah, absolutely. I think we were really successful. I mean, we kind of had like a really strong bond. Um, kind of the guys really blended when when we needed to. Uh, won some of the bigger tournaments of the year. Kind of like, you know, won the WWA, USA Baseball, so out in carry. So I think that we kind of put it together when we needed to. Our pitching was fantastic. And at the plate, we were really solid all summer, so. All right, let's talk about the relationships you have with that team. As you know, most of you guys aren't from the same area. What are your relationships with other players on the Canes National? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, like you said, you know, we're not all from the same area at all. And so it's it can kind of be a struggle, you know, relationships-wise a lot of the time with teams that kind of bring guys from a little bit of all over the map. So I think that really it comes down to kind of picking up, make sure you're picking up the right type of kids, you know, kind of like good character kids, guys like Grady, guys like Andrew, Gabo, Milano. Colton Hare, Jackson Matthews, guys like that that are just uh, high character kids, and then they can do it on the field and off the field. So I'd say that's a it's a definitely a recruiting blend of you know who's the talented guys, but who can yeah. also do it off the field too. For sure. All right. Did you have any favorite memories with those group of guys this summer on the field and then off the field? Yeah, definitely. I'd say WWA was a big one just because like that's kind of when you got to stick out a little bit. You know, you're playing 12, 13 games, and so that in just a matter of a couple of days. So I think that kind of pushing through with your guys is is definitely the the point of that tournament. And, you know, winning that one kind of shows a bond as well as, you know, how much talent. Yeah, definitely. All right, you got selected for the 13U PG Select Fest. Can you talk about that experience and what it was like being around those group of guys? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was kind of when I – that was almost, I'd say, kind of my first selected event, you know, kind of kick-started my um, travel ball stuff. So, for sure, that was a really cool event just because of the amount of talent that was there at such a young age, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, it just kind of introduced me to the perfect game scene and uh, really got me started on the national circuit as far as like recruiting wise went and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Being high, high, highly ranked up in PG. How do you treat that and not that affect you at all? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think it's something that you kind of, uh, it's a little chip on your shoulder. You know, you kind of have to prove yourself everywhere you go, you know, just because, you know, there's going to be eyes on you and, and guys that are going to want to see you fail and, and stuff like that. So I think that once you get to those things, you know, pressure is kind of like a privilege at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to take the good with the bad and, and just learn from everything. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just motivation when you're at home, you know, working hard to make sure that when you go to those national events and just on the national circuit that you're performing well. And, you know, what I mean, yeah. All right. Last fall, you actually got to play for 15, 15 new team USA and you guys actually mm -hmm. won it all. Can you talk about that experience and what it was like playing for the country? Yeah, no, definitely. It was a uh, incredible experience. It started out in Arizona. We had trials in Arizona for about two weeks. And then, like, overall, it was two weeks. The trials portion of it was the first week. Um, I, it started out with, I think, I want to say around 72 guys, 75 guys. And then it narrowed all the way down to 20. So that was a great experience just because of the amount of talent that was there. You kind of had to prove yourself just because, like, there was no breaks, you know? Like, yeah. every arm you saw there was plus plus and – and all the guys around you, even your, you know, your roommate, you may have never met your roommate, but mm -hmm. those guys are just like so talented and it's just, you don't get a break. So that experience was incredible, just trials itself. And then when we kind of went down to Mexico, it was just like, I mean, it was playing against other countries and playing for your country is kind of like a different type of feeling. So mm -hmm. um, kind of growing up, it's kind of like been a dream of mine, you know, ever since I was little. So representing the USA and playing against those countries and winning the whole thing and, you know, just trying to contribute as best as I could. And, and, uh, you know, ended up doing pretty well out there. And it was just a really good experience out in Mexico, for sure. Who do you think the toughest team is you played 
when you're playing the for the team? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I would definitely give it to Japan. They're they're pretty good, you know, just like really fundamentally sound and kind of like a really good, very close gl blended group of guys, you know. Yeah. Now let's hear a word from our sponsors, Credo Sports. Credo was named after the Greek god of power and strength. Credo bat weights were created to help players improve hand bat speed to reach their maximum exit velocity. Credo Sports also has different kinds of stuff, such as bat grips, tees, nets, and weighted balls. You can find them on Instagram and Twitter at Credo Sports, and their website is credosports.com. All right, let's kind of dig into high school here. You play for Cathedral Catholic Dons in San Diego, California. You guys went 22-9 and nine last season. Can you talk about the team and what you enjoyed most last season in your freshman year? Definitely, yeah. No, absolutely. It was a really good experience kind of being a, being a freshman, playing on varsity, and kind of, uh, you know, playing playing all the games and, and getting the experience of just like the high school scene. Um, it's a little bit different than travel ball scene just because of, you know, you're playing for your school kind of, so it's, it's a little bit of a chip on your shoulder kind of playing against – other schools in your area, almost like for bragging rights type of thing. Mm -hmm. So um, I really enjoyed playing as like, you know, an underclassman with some of the upperclassmen guys. And, uh, you know, I think we really made a really good bond last year. We did pretty well, you know, I'd say it was a successful year overall, but I think, you know, we'll be stronger this year and, and we'll have a great year for sure. That's great. Or right, did you have any favorite memories last season with those group of guys in high school? Yeah, no, absolutely. We won, we won some big games. We, we swept our, um, our division rivals, uh, St. Augustine. I think that would, I would say definitely that was our season highlight. We kind of put it all together in that series. We we uh, beat them at home in game one, crushed them away game two, and and walked them off in game three. Kind of like with our with our homestand crowd out. So it was it was it was definitely that was our highlight of our season. I would say for sure. It's awesome. Heading into your freshman year, not quite sure what high school season was. What was your goals heading into the season? Yeah, no, absolutely. Just kind of you know trying to play my part, seeing where I fit in. Kind of didn't really know too much about just like the high school scene in general. Um, was kind of new to like the three game series and playoffs yeah. and stuff like that. So just kind of trying to contribute, do my thing and keep my head down, work hard, you know? Yeah. All right. What are your goals for your upcoming sophomore season coming up? Yeah, no, I'd say just to have a successful season, kind of play my game, you know, uh, prove myself a little bit and, uh, you know, build off of last year and help my team win some games. I think that we have a really good shot to be kind of one of the better teams in Southern California this year. So I think that uh, for sure I want to play a big role in that and, and help us win some big games. All right, how do you compare the difference of high school and travel ball, and which one would you prefer more? Yeah, no, that's a good question. It's um, I'd say I'd give it like a 50-50 split kind of because, uh, you know, travel balls, it's it's a little bit different just because of it's a very national scene, and, like, there's guys kind of from, like, a little bit all over, and uh, the competition level gets really, really high. And um, you're playing for your team, but it's 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 just different kind of playing for your high school and kind of where you're from, it's a different type of chip on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I'd say I enjoy that part of it for sure. And uh, I, yeah, no, I would say I enjoy about about 50-50, you know, because the competition level and travel ball, I'd say is probably a little bit higher just because the guys are from all over and, it's, yeah. you know, it's the best of the best guys. But um, playing for high school is a little bit different, you know. It's just kind of a – it's a really cool experience for sure. Definitely. All right, you also play football at Cathedral Catholic. Uh, well, just tell us uh, – what position you play and what you're most excited for over this upcoming season? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so just kind of I play quarterback and just uh trying to make sure that I'm staying athletic, playing different sports, and um really trying to just build on athleticism and stuff like that moving forward. Go, gotcha. Jared. Let's kind of head into the recruiting process here. Let's talk about what happened last year in August, on August eighth of twenty twenty two. You and your brother Hunter announced your commitment to the to the Stanford University. Just talk about the decision. And then tell us when colleges started reaching reaching out to you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you spoke about like the thirteen U uh, select festival a little bit, and uh, kind of going to my like fourteen U fall, and then as well as like fourteen U summer, which uh, kind of revolves around like the USA stuff as well in that yeah. same fall. So, I'll just say kind of like it was a it was definitely a lengthy process. It's a little you know it gets stressful at, at points of time, and you kind of have to take things into perspective just because uh it gets a little bit overwhelming, you know, schools reaching out and kind of yeah. maybe, maybe, you know, trying to get a decision and stuff like that. So I'd say um, to guys out there, just make sure they're taking it slow, um, making sure that they're making the right decision for them and their family, uh, not necessarily like what other people want for them and stuff, kind of like yeah. see what you like and see what matters to you, kind of what what are the ins and outs of your game and what matters to you kind of outside of baseball if it's you know, uh, a great atmosphere, you know, fans, or if it's great academics, kind of like what really matters to you, um, kind of make sure you're picking that out and then, you know, go from there and you can start narrowing down schools and, and seeing what you really like and, and what you enjoy in a, in a university and a program. For sure. After you and your brother Hunter committed, what did that mean to you guys and to your family? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a, it's a, it's a really, it was a great accomplishment. Kind of, it was like a big check, big check box for me for sure. And uh, kind of being the school that I chose, I was like really content with my decision and, and I'm really glad that I made that decision. And uh, it's just like a really big, it's something that I'm really looking forward to. I kind of fell in love with the program, the coaching staff and the atmosphere. So it's something that I'm really looking forward to and, uh, you know, kind of building on each day, kind of making sure I'm ready when I get there, you know? Yeah. All right. Recently in August, you played for the perfect game, all, all-star game. Can you talk about that experience? What it was like being around all that good talent? Yeah, no, it was a great experience. Um, Kind of like it was a, a, a 2025 dominant event. So there was a lot of 2025 guys there. So um, a lot of like the rising juniors and, and uh, you know, current juniors. So there was a couple of 2026s out there, but, you know, mostly 2025. So it's kind of seeing guys a, a year ahead of me, kind of seeing where they're at and, and, you know, comparing myself to them and their game and what I can work on and going home kind of in the off season and in the fall yeah. um, working on my game. So it was definitely a motivational type of thing and seeing that talent it's just it's really it's it just helps improve your game so much so yeah, definitely all right let's kind of move into training here real quick what does training look like for you in season what does training look like for you in the off season yeah no in, in the off season kind of just trying to get bigger faster stronger um i'd say speed's kind of one of the things that i really like to focus on uh in the off season just making sure that i'm i'm staying kind of quick agile twitchy you know yeah. and so i'd say my workouts kind of look like that you know more twitchy stuff do like a lot of sprint stuff on the track stuff like that so um, just making sure I'm staying athletic, bigger, faster, stronger, you know, uh, rotating well, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All that good stuff. All right. What motivates you to go to the gym every day and get that extra work in at the field? Yeah. You spoke about a little bit before about um, kind of like a commitment and like ranking stuff like that, kind of having that chip on your shoulder and kind of using outside motivation as, as to, you know, get up in the morning and, and get my motor going, you know? Yeah. All right, let's head into the quick, fast questions here. All right, when you're walking up to the plate, what is your approach? Yeah, absolutely. It's um, approach is to kind of hit the ball hard, you know. I kind of have uh, – try and stay as simple as possible, you know, get the barrel out, get on base, you know, kind of cause havoc on the bases, score some runs for my team. So I'd say my approach is just to get on base and, you know, if balls are in the zone, hammer balls in the zone. Definitely. All right, what do you think Alex's life looks like in about five years from now? Oof, good question. Um, my life in five years looks like either a college baseball player or a draft pick and a and a guy that's playing professional baseball and kind of, you know, pursuing my passion and love for the game and, and you know, I mean doing so for, for the people that helped me out when, when I was on my way up and making sure I'm giving back and just doing everything for, for those people. All right. Here's a tough question here. If you if you could pick one brand deal to collab with, what brand would you pick? That's a that's a good question, but it's an easy one for me. I'm a I'm a big Lululemon guy, so I definitely Lululemon. go with a Lululemon. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite baseball movie? If you had to pick one, my favorite baseball movie. I'm just gonna go classic Sandlot. Sandlot. All yep. right. If you if you could pick a pregame artist or song before a game, which song or or pregame artist would you pick? Uh, I'm going with Doja Cat on that one, Chandler. All right. I've got a couple questions here. If you what do you do in your free time outside of sports when you have some free time? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm from San Diego. So it's kind of uh, it's a little bit different than some of the other places. Some other guys are from like Texas and stuff like that. No. Um, there's beaches out here. So I like to go to the beach, hang around with my friends, you know, just uh, kind of, just you know, chill, go to the beach, hang out with my friends and just enjoy life. You know, Yeah. if you could give any advice to any young baseball player out there, what would you say to them? For sure. Yeah, I would say to kind of take things at your own speed, you know, making sure that you're kind of self-improving and, and self-checking like what you need to get better on, what you need to improve on, as well as accepting what you're really good at and making sure that you're still improving on that. So I'd say making sure you're taking it slow, kind of, you know, not trying to get rushed into like hype or anything like that. Just, yeah. and don't get worried about like rankings and stuff like that. Just you keep your head down, keep working hard in the right school, the right coach, the right program, the right team, you know, whatever it is, they'll find you and, and, you know, everything falls into place. For sure. All right. Thank you, Alex, for coming on the podcast and good luck with your upcoming sophomore season. Thanks, Chandler. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man.